For Action News, I'm Anna Dolosky. A recent study of organic crops has detected fewer pesticide residues and more antioxidants. So what? The group of scientists analyzed several hundred studies to discern significant differences between conventionally grown crops and organic. But the study doesn't suggest organic crops are healthier for consumption than non-organic crops, and the New York Times article cites several experts who were skeptical of its lack of overarching public health and nutritional significance. Aksha's Dr. Gilbert Ross says the findings, if valid, aren't surprising at all. Of course, organic crops have fewer of the licensed approved and safe pesticides used on conventionally grown crops. What else is new? To me, it seems like uh, it's, it's a fruitless endeavor, uh, no pun intended, uh, to try to show that uh, the differences between organic and traditionally raised uh, crops. Okay, so what they found was that organic uh, crops and the food products made from them had lower levels of pesticide residues and also what they did, what they call the toxic metal cadmium. They also found that there were higher levels in the organic crops of, uh, of certain antioxidants, including isulfavones, uh, polyphenols, and, and other chemicals that have been deemed to be antioxidants uh, by, in some chemical systems. And uh, the explanation for why organic crops might have uh, uh, more antioxidants uh, completely eludes me. I wouldn't have the slightest uh, idea as to how that could possibly be true. Uh, whether a, uh, a crop is uh, protected by modern uh, pesticides or by genetically modified uh, uh, production techniques which uh, sometimes create their own pesticides or is, are raised under strict organic uh, provisions and mandates should not logically impact upon their uh, production or the presence of antioxidants. The relationship between these so-called antioxidant compounds and any beneficial effect on human health is, is sketchy, to say the least. Uh, the authors of the paper in their abstract mention that these chemicals, some of these chemicals have been linked to lower rates of certain diseases, including cancer. The evidence that antioxidant intake in the human diet has some significant impact on the development of cancers of any type is, is very, uh, very fragmentary, to say the least. Antioxidants is mostly a marketing term, uh, just like organic, by the way. Uh, doesn't really have any effect on human health. Uh, or organic uh, products cater to a certain market of people that are afraid of chemicals. Although the, uh, the pesticides that we use in modern agriculture are uh, tested and approved by the EPA and the USDA and sometimes the FDA, uh, up and down uh, and around sideways, hundreds of tests are done and uh, the approved licensed pesticides are quite safe and the minuscule amount of pesticide residues on traditionally raised uh, crops is of no health consequence whatsoever. To read this and other stories, you can head to our website, aksha.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Dolosky.